What's up? Shifting gears, let's look at the upcoming schedule. Glad you could join us. Ryan Anderson and crew are ready to take it away for the start of the third quarter. Well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. Boy, Zach Levine has been sensational. Yeah, tonight he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. The core of this team, Brown and Tatum, they're the forwards. Marcus Smart out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Horford in at the center position. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Now here's Horford. Horford, a screen on ball. And there's the call on Lonzo Ball. That'll be a second foul of the game. It's Brown on the wing, defended by DeRozan. Brown passes to Horford. Late clock, the Celtics got to hurry here. Tatum way outside. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Tatum's got 10 points. Well, Jason Tatum always working to expand his range. He might as well be in the next county. Ever since the back half of last year, Tatum's been on fire. Now, the game has slowed down for him, so he could play faster. But now he's become nearly unstoppable. And it's DeRozan missing. Austin trailing. Smart up top. Williams defending. Brown with a screen. Tatum drives in. Zach Levine clears it away. And you know, in the under 25 club, Grant, some observers say they take Tatum over Doncic. and others. Well, Tatum's a big guy who's only getting bigger. His defense is almost on par now with his offense, and he has a possible MVP in his future. Pass to Horford. The kick to Tatum. Back to Horford. And Horford powers it home. Well, what a pleasure to watch Al Horford go to work. Does all the right things, and that time gets an easy dunk. And the Bulls shooting 56% today. Ball passes to Levine. Here's Vucevic, covered by Schroeder. Fade away. He can't hit that time. And Boston going the other way now. Horford for three. And it's Chicago with the board. Vucevic has got seven rebounds in the game. DeRozan with the ball. Guarded now by Smart. Here's Levine for three. Hits the trifecta. 13 points in the game. Boy, Levine's range, his consistency from three are so problematic. Boston has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Ali LaForce. B.A., the Boston Celtics last year had the team's worst win percentage in the last six seasons. The front office admitted, as constituted, they were not a championship caliber team. Now, for this proud franchise, accustomed to competing deep into the playoffs, the question becomes, how do they get back on top? Yeah, that's a big one. Good stuff there, Allie. Thanks. In transition, here they come. Williams passes to Vucevic. And there's the whistle. They'll pin that one on Nikola Vucevic. That's his first foul. And great job to establish position and square up. Williams has checked in for Boston. For Boston, they've got just two of six in the second half. It's Brown on the wing. With the drive. Pass to Schroeder. Shot clock at five. Horford for three. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Boy, a really tough quarter for this guy. Just struggling to make shots right now. The jump hook. Vucevic's shot is off. I'll tell you what. We know he's been struggling tonight. But his teammates have pitched in big time. Chicago has gone three of six from deep so far. Pass to Levine. Kicks it to DeRozan. Tries again. 
The rebound, Celtics. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Well, you were Rookie of the Year back in 1995, Grant. For young guys coming into the league, how difficult are expectations right out of the gate? Well, rookies these days are way younger than when I played. I mean, I was 22 my first year uh, in the league after four years in college. So, you know, I think we have to give these young players time to develop and learn how to become great in the NBA. The Bulls making a switch here. Jones, he's checked in for Williams. Brown comes in for DeRozan. White, he's checked in for Levine. And it's Caruso in for ball. Here's Pritchard looking for his first basket still in this one. Brown passes to Kenner. Vucevic with a steal. And a pass break now for the Bulls. White for three. And again, it's Chicago with a three. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Bulls. Their activity at the defensive end has been impressive. Attacking and coming away with steals. They've gotten out on the break over and over tonight as well. A lot of baskets coming in transition. And the ball out of play. The Bulls will have it. Chicago has gotten all three from downtown so far in the second half. Vucevic, a screen on Richardson. Here's White. And it's Canner with a rebound. Canner's got four rebounds now. Brown finds Canner. Richardson against White. Canner with a screen on White. Richardson, the pass to Canner. And yeah, that one's good. Canner's gotten his second bucket. Ennis Cantor embraces physicality. And if he wants to score it, he's going to play right through the defense. Pass to Brown. And Brown with the stuff. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Boy, good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. They're just too slow to react. You can't afford to sleepwalk through possessions. What's going on out there? And he knocks down the first one. Some changes for Chicago. Williams is checked in for Jones. And it's Zach Levine in for Brown. And that's good as he hits both shots. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Oh, it's stolen. Pass to Kenner. Williams on the wing. There's 31 seconds left to play in the third quarter here. Pritchard gets it to go. It just looks so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. 27 seconds left in the third. Here's Caruso. Outside, Williams. Caruso with the bucket. Caruso's got five now. That's how you share the rock. He does this time and time again. Pass to Kenner. Now Brown. There's the three. No good there. Levine way outside. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And so it's Chicago going into the break up 12. Well, when you win the battle of turnovers, you typically win the battle of possessions. We'll be right back after this word. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. He's always near the top of the list for this honor. I mean, passes like these are his specialty. Well, this is why great point guard play is so critical in today's NBA. And you see it right there on display. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Chicago has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. And for Chicago, let's take a look. Ball is out there with Kobe White. Then there's Nikola Vucevic. Then it's DeMar DeRozan. 
And it's Levine in a small forward. A difficult situation for Boston. And here's Schroeder. Into the lane. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. Here's DeRozan. To the inside. Here's Ball. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Well, this is where DeMar DeRozan proves he is the real deal. Not only a skilled scorer, skilled at finding his teammates as well. Now here's Schroeder. White with the steal. Ball with it. Guarded now by Smart. Tatum with the block. And he's able to get it back. Another shot. That shot missing. And Boston going the other way now. Well, this has not been his finest hour. But give your teammates some credit for doing the job of stepping in. Smart passes to Horford. To the paint. Five on the clock. Tatum. And a nice finish on the layup. This guy is a pick-your-poison kind of player. Very hard defensively to cover all your bases with him. Pass to Levine. And the dunk by Levine. Because Zach Levine makes these kinds of nights look easy. He has got everything in his offensive arsenal. Ball against Schroeder. He's off on the layup. For Chicago, they've gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Inside. And it's Vucevic. That time on the assist by Levine. Levine's got his third assist of the night. Moving along. Two minutes gone in the fourth. Pass to Smart. And here's Horford. Oh, it's stolen by DeRozan. Now here's Ball. Outside White. DeRozan with the ball. Pulls up. He's good with a little jumper in close. They're playing great team basketball. It's good movement and sharp, crisp passing. Pass to Williams. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Horford can't hit. The Bulls have gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter. And Marcus Smart picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. Oh, now that was a block. Some much needed energy there to jumpstart them back into this game. Ball passes to DeRozan. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. Are you serious? That is some power from a point guard. Oh, I love backcourt players with some ups. We know versatility is huge in this game. Just a tremendous job finishing that play. Wow. Well, Grant, he hails from Germany. Dennis Schroeder, one of the fastest guys in the league. He is a blur when he's on his game. And also, let's not forget, I mean, he played three years professionally in his native Germany before coming to the association, and he has never looked back. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And they've done well from the free throw line this half. No misses yet. Ball against Schroeder. Ball passes to White. Back to Ball. Let's the three fly. Gets the three to fall. Ball's got five points in the quarter. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. The Celtics have gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Ball against Tatum. To the middle. Here's Horford. That falls. Nice feed that time from Tatum. Tatum's got three assists in the game. How about Jason Tatum with a little pocket pass and the pick and roll? That's nice. Now here's Levine. DeRozan, a screen on Tatum. Levine passes to Vucevic. And Vucevic slams it in. Knew exactly where his teammate would be. That's a product of good chemistry. The Celtics have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Schroeder nails it. He's now six for eight from the floor. Here's Ball. Pass to Levine. I got yours, I got yours. 
Here's DeRozan. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Left side, Tatum. And the call will be against Jason Tatum. That's foul number two for him. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. The Celtics making a switch here. Brown's checked in. Williams is checked in for Chicago. Ball against Schroeder. Ball passes to Williams. Vucevic, a screen on Smart. Pass to DeRozan. Ball outside. Shot clock at six. The Bulls need to get off a shot. Here's Williams. And again, Chicago, no good. The Celtics have gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. And this one hasn't been in doubt for a bit now. They came out on a mission, and you can bag up this win for the Bulls. Seemed like the sheer volume of three-pointers today was the deciding factor. <laughs> and they'd hit one and then just dial it up again. And it worked. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. Yeah, this is far from the last word in the season series. Still three more meetings between them and plenty of motivation to square things up. And what a huge performance it was for Zach Levine. So impressed with his performance today. He was confident, he was composed, and the defense just didn't know how to adjust. Steps back. Tatum against Ball. Brown, a screen on ball. There's Tatum with the three. And they'll get another chance. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. No good from outside. Tatum against ball. And the call will be against... Jason Tatum. That's his third foul of the game. So no problem for Chicago as they get the win. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge, and they earned this dub. And that'll do it for this inaugural game of the NBA season. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. Now our New Balance player of the game, Zach Levine.